Welcome back. We are talking with Rob Klassen today from Wholesale Sports, uh, and he has a helper today who's modeling one of the things we're talking about when it comes to seasonal weather protection. Rob, great to have you on the show. Thank you. It's great yeah. to be here. Yeah. Um, the first item we will talk about today is uh, an item called a, sil a silk suit. Silk. Now, a silk, S E L K. I brought our beautiful model from Wholesale Sports, Crystal, with us today. Thanks, and Crystal. And she is modeling our silk suit. Now, this is kind of like a walking sleeping bag in some way, shape, or form. Uh, they come with a full foot um, protection for you. Uh, some come with zip-off feet, others do not. Um, it, it's, it, it has openings where you can zip open on the legs and the hands um, to cool yourself off if you're getting a little bit too warm. Mm -hmm. Now, we all know that um, whenever you wear a full one-piece suit, whether it's a one-piece underwear or uh, one-piece overwear like Crystal's wearing here today, um, you're going to stay very, very warm in it. So this has a lot of really great practical um, applications for it, uh, such as, uh, say, people who are using, um, or say, in the hunting world, um, if you're using a ground, ground blind or, um, or a tree blind when it's really cold out, you're going to be definitely very warm in these. Um, people who do ice fishing, um, they're on the ice all day long um, and in many cases not comfortable because it is cold. Mm -hmm. And uh, with something like Crystal is wearing here, they're going to be comfortable. I think another really great application for this type of a suit is um, a survival um, thing. You know, a lot of people put together survival kits in their vehicles if they're traveling uh, throughout uh, the mountains of British Columbia where there is potential to be uh, caught between avalanches or um, breakdowns or um, in traffic jams on the Coquihalla Highway, for example. And you could easily put that suit on and stay warm if, if uh, things get bad enough. What is it good down to temperature-wise? Well, it's got a rating. It's been, it's been rated independently by an independent company. It's saying six degrees is the comfort level. Now, that all depends on the kind of person you are anyhow, whether you're warm or cold on any given day. Uh, also, it says it has a limit of two degrees and then an extreme of minus 15. So that means in, in the extreme condition, you're not going to freeze to death, but you're going to be uncomfortable, but you're still going to live at minus 15. And again, some people will survive even at a much colder temperature, depending if you're one of those people who get cold very quickly mm -hmm. or, or not. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Good to know about this. I didn't know this existed. It's like a walking sleeping bag, basically. It you're, is. You're warm you know, all the um, time. I have one on order for myself, yeah. and um, if I never use it, that's great. But if I do use it, it's, it's there to use, and um, I'm sure Crystal's hot already. I know. <laughs> I was going to mention, Crystal, if you want to uh, walk off the, the set, and that way you don't have to stand here and be super hot for the rest <laughs> of the segment. Thank you for being here. Thank you you also Crystal. wanted to talk about uh, some of these uh, tops as well, these shirts. I'm going to talk about the Icebreaker Merino Wool product. Now, if anyone's not worn um, Icebreaker Merino Wool, then they're missing one of the best pieces of uh, base layer technology that is available. Um, I'm a firm believer in it. I, at first I wasn't, and then I bought a, a piece of the clothing, and it's, it's phenomenal. Um, I'll start up, before I talk about the, the garment itself exclusively, I'll talk about the fact that not all Merino Wool is made the same. Um, Icebreaker has a unique um, relationship with the um, merino wool producers or the farmers in, in New Zealand. So what, what that means is, A, um, they're dealing with um, large farms in the high elevations in New Zealand where the sheep experience temperatures from anywhere from minus 30 to plus 30 um, during the year. Um, also, they um, have a, a unique relationship in the sense where they sign long-term contracts with them so it provides long-term stability for the farmers so they can produce a high quality wool. They have a very strict uh, policy where the wool has to have um, a certain thickness. It can't be too thick so it's coarse and it can't be too thin so it doesn't have insulation. This is a sample of the wool. This is untreated, it's only washed wool and it's so nice and fine and soft that um, it makes the garment very nice um, to put on. Mm -hmm. uh, now getting back to the wool itself the, or, or the garment, it comes in different um, what, what we would call grades like a t 150 uh, weight 200 weight or 260 weight mm -hmm. and you layer that and you stay completely warm and you're not bulky. It's a very fine weave, it's a very tight weave and you stay um, very good. It's natural, it's organic and it's healthy for the environment. And you want to talk about the tags, they all come with a specific I do. tags. This is so unique with the, with the uh, icebreaker product. We have what's called a BAA code, B-A-A -A code. And on every garment there's a code. You, end, you go to the website that um, 
icebreaker has. You enter in the BAW code and hit the search button and it will tell you what farmer that particular wool came from for that garment. Uh, there's oftentimes a video accompanying that, that um, and the farmer will actually speak to you and tell you um, the, about the great relationship and how they treat their sheep. And then it, it also tells you the company in which, or the, um, where the wool was actually processed and cleaned. That's awesome. And turned into actual wool. So it's, it's a great product. Um, like I say, a strong believer in it. It's natural. Um, wool is one of the only products where if it gets wet, you can still stay warm and insulated in it. And you were just uh, on a hunting trip north of Atlin, you said, and you yes. almost lived in yours for four days and it was fabulous. So. I lived in it for four days. Yeah. I didn't smell too bad and, uh, <laughs> um, and it worked great. I, I didn't even have to wear um, at any time all three of the layers that I have. Usually two layers were just great and it was cold and it was windy and it uh, kept us nice and warm and alive. Okay, fantastic. We are out of time, Rob. I appreciate you being here today with some of these uh, uh, great examples of uh, the quality weather protection that you can get out there. Uh, so thanks for being here today. Thank you for having us. You're very welcome. Wholesalesports.com is where you can go online. You can also check out their store, of course, on Notre Dame Drive. Uh, phone number on the screen as well. We're back in just a few minutes. Stay with us.